This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm on their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson Getting Properties. Let's see. Movement with Properties. Earlier we used Set Property to change the X and Y position of elements on the screen, but we could only move them in either a single specific to either a single specific location or a random location. By using set property to find an element's current position, we can use the counter pattern from unit 3 to update the position. Uh, if you forgot what the counter pattern is, we'll go through it. Do this. Read the program and discuss with your partner, hi partner on the other side of this video, how the left button makes the motorcycle go up. Using the working left button as an example, program the right button to make the motorcycle go down. Okay, we're going to go up and down. All right, this icon, oh yeah, we're going to save this across because we're making a project. All right, let's see what we got. So on the board event of the L button being pressed, this function will run. On the event from the board of the L button being pressed, we're going to run this function. We also have this global variable, so all functions can access it, called speed. Now, y is set to be equal to the property of motorcycle y. So whatever the y location, notice the ID here is motorcycle. So we say, okay, get property, uh, motorcycle. Uh, okay, got motorcycle, now what? The y value. So, and I know that the y is the top corner of it. So whatever its y value is, is then going to be set equal to our variable here, y. Okay, so we'll pretend it's like 200. It's not exactly... And, but anyways, so then we say, okay, set property motorcycle equal to, uh, oh, set the property motorcycles Y. So whatever that Y was for motorcycle, we want to equal to our variable Y minus speed, and speed's 10. And so each time we run this, we're taking 10 out of the Y value of the motorcycle, which will move it up the screen. Because zero, if you look at how it says X, Y, at the, it's kind of weird, but in this, y0 is at the top, right? A normal graph, 0, 0 is the bottom left corner, not in this. 0, 0 is the top right corner, okay? So this is 0, y, and then this will be like 400. Now, let's do the right button for down. So I need the circuit on board of it. And we're going to model it off of this. I'm going to go grab a variable and... I'm going to use, I can still say Y because it's still going to be a Y. Up and down is Y. I'm going to use get property just like they did. And then let's do motorcycle and Y because we do want the Y location once again each time this runs. But then we're going to set the property of motorcycle Y to be equal to Y minus speed. So, y minus speed is not the correct way to do this, because we need to add to it. <laughs> like I was just saying, you want to add to it, right? Because if we add to a y value, y is 212 right now. But if we want to go down, we want y to be 450 eventually. So, that all looks good. Let's give it a shot. Left button. Oh, 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 guys, <laughs> I need to make sure it's right button. So mine was going up and down at the same time, so it wasn't moving. So if the right button is down, they use pressed. So I'm going to delete this word down, and I'm going to have it like they did, pressed, press. Okay, now let's try it. So I had it counteracting. The left button was making the Y go up and down. Let's try now. But uh It's like a little remote. Now let's do the right button. <laughs> go, 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 race, race, race. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's uh keep going.